Shit, I forget where to go. This is bad. And this is why cover is a blessing, children. This helps you out though. Because he can't get here. It's a safe haven. Yeah, I think you go here. Yeah. The one place I didn't look was the place I was meant to go. There's a place like this set later in the game too, which I think is cool. You know, consistency with architecture. Even though this is this tower here is fairly blocky. It must have been one of the ones that they made earlier when they were testing out hammer. Can I Jeez. Now let's get our revenge. Babe. Unfortunately we don't get an RPG till much later in the game. Like well not much, much later, but still later. Damn. Now then, uh moving on. We'll get back to our boat. Our boat. And move on. Dude, how long have we been doing this? We've been doing this for quite a long time. Jeez, this is going to be a long video too. Uh, each, probably each level in this game takes about a half hour to get through, give or take. Except for one, I think one is like excruciatingly long. I forget which one that is though. Uh, I think that I won't give up. Like, I don't know if the level names would be spoilers or not, so I won't say them, but... You'll, you'll know when we get there. Like, if you've played the game, you'll know about that one really long level that you're just kind of like, what? <laughs> you know, is this going to end? So... Anyways... Uh, I think I'll be uploading this LP on Wednesdays instead of Okami and Okami on Fridays. Okami is just going to be such a joke. I'm going to be like... <laughs> it's going to be the most casual gameplay through uh, ever. You know, I can't help but feel that I'm missing some goodies. I probably am, but I really... In this game, goodies are harder to come by. Well, not hard to come by, it's just that, like, in the last game, whoa, whoa, hello, uh, giddies weren't so hard to get with the whole entire, um, because you weren't ever being chased in that game, ever. Like, in Blast Pit, you were sort of, had to be a little careful, and oh, ah! Uh, but that was it. You just had to be careful not to do any sudden movements or noises. But, oh well. This is a cool section, too. So, like, whoa! For some reason, it just reminds me of Ratchet and Clank. I have no idea why. Uh, I sort of want to play that game again. I won't let's play that game. I... I think. Whoa, whoa. Like... I don't know. If I'm... If I... You know, play through that game again and I really like it, then... That might be a future let's play. Who knows? Of course, what new things I will bring to the table? Don't know, but... To be honest, the whole entire bringing new things to the table thing has got me wondering, like... Wouldn't just a game, a playthrough where you're, you know, just being entertained be good enough? Like, just having a lot of fun, you know? How is that, you know, necessarily a bad luck to play? Like, you genuinely... Oh, let's get the goody, 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 goody! Oh, no! Oh, we didn't even need the goody. I'm disappointed. So, I think this is like the halfway point of the level. Uh, we've got... We've got like one more small walking section at the very end. But that's it. 
For some reason, I remember being able to get here. Get up there. But that may be a later level that I'm thinking of. So, there's a lot of turns that I'm passing at because uh, I'm a little low on... Not really time, but sort of time at the same time. Uh, you know, I just don't want to be spending too much time because I have to get to editing my RCT3 video. Here we go. This reminds me of a later level 2. A fairly difficult later level, if I remember. Uh, like, it's not incredibly difficult, but you get maxed out. Oh, he's trying to kill us now, is he? It's not very polite of him. Anyways, we want to drive our boat, boat, onto this thing. Game. There we go. Oh, there we go. Very nice. Lower it. Continue on. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, oh, shh, what, 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 what? Oh my god, ah. What the hell game? Why did, why did it do that? Like, what? I don't remember ever doing that. Huh. Fall damage? Are you serial? Ugh. Anyways, now that we've got that out of the way, we can move on. I don't think that was even completely necessary. And oh, man, I've got to link you guys to the uh, G-Man and the gigantic chimney video. It's like one of my f like. You might think it's dumb, but I was like the video that started getting me into Gary's one and I was like, yes, that's so cool. No goodies. We might want to perform some evasive action. And I went completely the wrong way. You know, I meant to go the wrong way to see if you guys were paying attention. <laughs> well, that's a funny joke. But, well, it's not my joke, so... If you guys don't think it's funny, don't blame me. Oh, this is... is this? I'm not sure. Second goodie section. This is also a scary section. And you'll find out very quickly why it's so scary. Oh, man, my keyboard is so dirty. I think up here... Whoa! Hello! I knew you were in there somewhere! And I wasted a bunch of Paytom ammo on you! Ha! Oh well. Wait. There we go. Hello. Now then, uh, what we have to do to progress is we actually have to lift up, uh, that board to get us over the, uh, the blockade that we could probably just lift up anyways. <laughs> or, you know, just move some boards out of the way, but that's not possible, I guess. So do we just want to nudge this over the side? What on earth? What on... Ah, oh, Gabe! What on earth? What on earth? Gabe? What? Ah, uh, I'm going to totally get Gabe Newell for this. Ugh. Nobody Gabe ends me and gets away with it. If you don't know what Gabe ending is, uh, it's basically where you lose a lot of health. Um, due to one of the, uh, 
the errors in the physics in this game, because, well, this game was like one of the first games to ever have physics. So, you gotta give it a break. And you might argue, like, oh, there were so many games that had physics before this. And oh no, more talking. I wouldn't believe it if I couldn't see with my own eyes. Dr. Gordon Freeman himself. Hello. So this is just going to give us a description of what we have to do now. So, I'll be quiet. Like I promised and failed last time. Well? Here, take a look at this. This here is the dam. It's just up ahead. Eli's hideout is here. A stone's throw from the apron and nestled in the old hydro plant. But getting there, with that hunter chopper on your ass, next to impossible. Good news is, the Vortigaunt's working his magic on your airboat. So you'll have a little more firepower going forward. I think he's just finishing up now. Go on out. Okay. So basically, you say I need a gun to kill the airboat. How insightful. Let's go over here. There we are. That gun came off the same hundred that you're up against. I always like to the iron. Huh. That's kind of weird. Take that chopper down, and you should be able to tear on. Neat little details. The Freeman will accept this weapon. So basically, take it or you're going to die. Okay. Now we've got a gun. Unfortunately, hey, we can kick this trapper's ass now. Take that. So yeah, we'll be able to get the chopper off our ass now. Pretty easily, um, now. But, the problem is, we're going to be trapped right here. Yep. So, another small little fighting section. Where you're not really even doing any fighting. You're just kind of like... Hey, I'm going to kill you, thanks. Oh my. This is how they should make first person shooters. Really insanely epic. Like this. I love the music in this game. Like, even though you don't really hear any, um, like, of the music that everyone's like, oh my god, this is the best music ever from this game. It's really good. Like, you can't deny that. You just can't. There you go. Anyways, uh, continuing on, we're going to just take our detour. Since they conveniently placed it for us. You can all actually take these out too, but we won't have to take one of those out for a little bit. We will have to- whoa, oh goodies, goodies, goodies! I demand goodies! Going out of my way for goodies. What has become of me? Uh, that's not bad, really. Oh, that didn't kill the other guy? I don't know what they're trying to do here. But this reminds me of Blast Pit, too. Uh, I'm reminded of so much from all these different games. It's so crazy. Uh, um, oh, the music stopped. I'm disappointed. And this is basically the last leg of the level. We have one small section to go through after this, and that'll be it. <clears throat> and the sun's starting to set. One of the small things that I really like in this game. Small de details with, like, day and that. See, you can take out those, uh, tank things. I wouldn't know what they would be. I don't really care. You can also totally shoot this to pieces. Ow. 
Note to self, fire is probably not good for you. Okay. Uh, blow this guy up. I think there's goodies over there, but I really don't care. Not at this point, because I think we've got max ammo, and I don't- I think it's only health over there, if I remember right. Uh, plus, as I said, you know, these videos are expensive. Not like, you know, money-wise, but as in, they take a lot of disk space for me. Like, the raw file for a video is like, usually, probably 20 gigs. And you may be like, holy shit, you know, that's kind of ridiculous. But, no, that's about the size it is for me. Because I record in HD, so... HD so that you guys can enjoy it. Anyways, uh, continuing on. Oh, 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 kill it! Uh, where'd the crosshair go? It just kind of, like, jumped off the screen. Okay, I think we want to turn here. Oh yeah, this is, like, this last little mini-battle that we have before facing the chopper. And no, it's not spoilers, because if you looked at the map, you'd know that this here area was right before the, uh, chopper fight. Which would obviously be the area right before Eli's I mean, come on. What the hell, game? You're not really letting me do much here, are you? Uh. Okay, that's one down. Let's get this one. And, ugh, some of the controls for this are kind of really weird. Kind of really. Now then, uh, what we want to do here actually is just... Blow that. We can enter with our airboat and move on to the final boss of this level. <laughs> the, uh, if there was boss fights, like, there really aren't boss fights in this game, like in the last one. Well, there weren't really boss fights in the last one either. There was, like, the final boss, but that was it. There's, like, not even... There's, like, no bosses in this game. There's, like, things I would call mini-bosses, but that'd be it, it at most. Alright, so let's have a look-see at the... Arena. It's a pretty... It's a really cool fight, in my opinion. The chopper. It's also really cool to feel your vocal cords on your neck when you're talking. It's like, ooh. Oh, man. Uh oh. Looks ominous. Big and open. Uh oh. Where is he coming from? Yep. Set the stage. Basically, we can just sit here and get a lot of really easy shots on him at, at the start. Uh, you want to be careful, there's a lot of explosive barrels around here. So, if you want to, you could take them out beforehand. But it's not that hard to navigate around them, and they don't do that much damage. So, no problems, really. Digging him out like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot that he did that. And then he goes into his next form. Which can kill you pretty quickly. If you're not careful, but luckily I was. Just hide under here and you won't be able to get that much hits on you. Careful, he'll start dropping bombs like, whoa, hello. I see he wants to get a little close. Uh, let's see if we can get him here. No, that's not gonna happen. 
Whoa! Shit! Let's see if we can get him now. Boom! And that is why you do not, you know, mess with people in airboats with seemingly infinite ammo. I think this is like electrically powered. That's what the border border gun did. And unfortunately, the explosive barrels are still intact. Not too much of a deal to us. Um, here uh, is basically an entirely optional area, if I'm not mistaken. Like for the most part, you don't even need to bring your airboat in here. It's just to get uh, a bit of a cool little area. This is basically the end of the level. There's this one extra little area I do, um, I, that I want to show off. So, I'll show it off to you guys. Yeah, we can probably t yeah, we, you can take your air shop, air sh air boat up here too. So. You can just totally break the game. Well, not break. I mean, it's intended that you'd be able to go up here with their boat. So go in into the building with the airboat. It makes perfect sense. Use this to get up. Even though there's stairs like right next to this place. This is basically a giddy section. Like, look at all these goodies. And... Uh... No, the button's like somewhere else. Be careful. And this is actually where we need to go. This section down here. Just so that you can open one of the damn gates. So that you can, uh, get through with the airboat. Even though you never use the airboat ever again. So, you do that. Which means you can get back down. You probably shouldn't have brought your airboat there, but I'm going to need the airboat. Uh, to show you guys one secret. And that opens that gate. So, uh, what's going to happen now is I'm going to show you guys a cool little secret area and we will end this level uh, by going into Eli's lab. So, auxiliary power will you return to me so that I can get to the airboat and show off the secret area, maybe? Oh yeah, why did, why did I put my airboat up here? <laughs> it was stupid of me, I was just kind of like, oh, I can put it up here! Woo! You dumbass. <laughs> ah! How dare thee! Yeah, I always found the... So we want to go over here. Get out, jump on top of our airboat. Jump. Wait, oh. And you want to be pretty damn fast. Uh. Make it here. Hello. Yeah, this is just basically goodies. Does he say any more? I don't think he does. I thought he said like a lot more. This is more than anyone can bear, but we will persevere. Huh. 
Yeah, there's basically a bunch of health here. Cool little area, too. So, not saying anything more. Anyways, it's time to exit. Hopefully in one piece. Um, I won't suck up on health and suit anymore because, you know, it's pretty okay and I'm only playing on... I think it's easy. It feels like I'm playing on easy at least. Uh, anyways. Wait, let me check. Wait. Wait, I'll stop that. Uh, yeah, I'm on easy. I'm just because I'm sucking so bad, that's all. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I bet if I turned it up to normal, I'd be dying 24-7. And I'd be raging so hard, going like, ah! Okay, this is the end of the level, so... Ugh. Oh man, I've been here for like an hour. Holy crap. Quietness. Oh my god, I totally lost my train of thought there. Holy crap. I'm pretty sure you guys are only staring at a loading screen. Yeah. This is the lab level, so. It, I probably it was a long loading screen because there's a lot of cutscenes in this one section. Ooh, there's a goodie package around here. I wonder where. I forget where the goodies are in this. Where the goodie engine is. Let's look around for it before the video ends. Even though it really wouldn't matter, would it? <laughs> hmm. The hunt for the goodies. Okay, there has to be goodies around here somewhere. This section? No. Where art thou, goodies? Hmm. Don't taunt me. Game, don't taunt me with goodies and not give me them. Uh, you know, I'll just send it here. Okay, thanks, bye.